Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. I am Chris, that's Chris with a K. Link in the description of my website. Today we're gonna to be uh, creating a script just to make life easier, right? So if you're on a Linux system, you have package managers, depending on uh, what system you have, you have different package managers. I am on a Debian system. If you're on a Debian based system, you're using some sort of apt. So apt or apt-get or I prefer aptitude. So if I was to use aptitude, I could search, for example, if I was looking to install a package, I could say search bash and it will list all applications with the name bash in it and uh, so then I can take one of those let's say I want to install bash I mean I already have it installed but let me go sudo apt install or actually I can do aptitude install and I will give it the bash name it'll ask for my password and I will run that it's already installed it will tell me that it's already installed and that is fine so what I want to do though is I want to be able to have this list come up and then filter through that by typing and then grab multiple packages and have them all installed. And we're gonna do that using aptitude and FZF. We're gonna write a script. It's gonna be uh, less than 10 lines long for sure, maybe closer to five. Uh, but let's go ahead and just and look at this real quick. So again, I can do this to search for the phrase bash, right? And what I can do is I can pipe that into FZF and it will give me that list and then I can type in something like top and there's bash top I could enter and it returns that if I want to select multiple files I can say fzf m and now when I do that I can uh, you know say top I can say uh, tab on that one tab on that one tab on that one and now it lists out all three that I had selected with the tab great but of course we want to give it some sort of prompt so the user know what's what's to, the user knows what to do dash dash prompt uh, and then what we want it to say, we'll say select packages. And we'll make that look nice. We'll run that. And now we have our little select packages. I can type in something like node and I can select, you know, whatever packages I want here. I type node wrong, but it still filtered it fairly decently. And we'll run that and list those out. Okay, we just want the package name, right? So that's the second column. So what we can do here is we can now put this into awk. And I can do uh, curly braces there, or whatever you want to call them. And I'll say print dollar sign two. That's the second column. So now we still get our full list with the description. Again, I can say node, and I can tab through those three. And now it gives us a list of just the package names. But we want those all on one line, but with spaces between them. So real simply, we'll just put that into tr. We'll say backslash n. So we're going to convert all new lines to spaces. Again, I'll just do node. I'll do tab, tab, tab or however many of these I want, and then it lists them all in a row. Now we can just take that output and we can put it into our apt or aptitude or apt get command to download. So let's go ahead and start working on this as a script, okay? So I'm gonna say vim and I'll call this app search. You can call it appsearch.sh if you want. Uh, and my vim configuration automatically puts this header into all my uh, uh, script files, my shell script files, so that's good. You just need the bash uh, shebang line there saying that this is a bash script and uh, first thing we need to do is is the user giving an input so when we run our script uh, is the user giving us a search query so I'll just say look at the first argument okay is there a first argument if there is a first argument we're gonna say Q equals whatever that first argument is okay now let's say the user doesn't give us any input when it runs the command initially, when it, when they run the command initially. So we'll say our or operator, so pipe pipe, we're gonna use the read command dash P and give it a prompt and we'll say enter search query. Whoa, there we go. And then we will create that variable Q. So we're either looking at, did they pass it when they typed in the command? If not, request it. And then we'll check, did the user actually give us anything if they didn't well then we're, we're just going to exit right there okay and real quick just to show you i'll echo out q we'll save that we will make it executable like so now again we have our script in our directory here i'll dot slash that and if i give it something like bash it will echo out bash because that's why I typed. If I give it nothing, then it will ask me for something I can type in bash or whatever I want to search for. Great. Now we're going to move on. We're going to run our command that we created earlier uh, and put that into a variable. So let's go ahead back into our script here 
And just to save time, I will copy and paste. I'll delete that echo line because we don't need that. That was just for demonstration purposes. Um, so I am going to say this. We're going to say we're running our aptitude search with our query up here as long as something was passed. Otherwise, we've already exited. We're going to put that into FCF search, make sure we're selecting multiple files if we need to, putting all those on one line and putting that into a variable called PKG. Now, we want to make sure that we actually selected stuff because if we didn't, we're just going to exit at this point. So we're going to say, OK, PKG, uh, should we exit now? I don't need the quotation marks around these variables when we're checking them. But just to be consistent, I'm either going to have them or not have them. So now we have quotation marks around that. Okay. So again, now I can run our script. I can say bash. It's going to search for bash. And now I have a list I can filter through. So I give it an initial search and then it will give me a list that I can filter through and select from. Right. And, or if I didn't, I can say something like no. Right. And it's going to give a long list of node stuff. And I can say bash. There we go. I selected one. OK, so let's finish it off. We now, as long as we have selected something from that list, we are now going to run this. We're going to sudo apt install the packages. Right. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I will run our script. I'll say bash and I will just check things I already have installed like so just so we don't install anything I don't want. We'll run that and you can see all those are up to date. If they weren't, they would have been installed. And if we were to not give anything here, I could type bash here or whatever I want my search query to be to narrow down the list. If I don't give anything, it exits. If I was to give it something and I was to go here, let's say I was to type in stuff that doesn't exist and I have nothing selected, it should exit out before it gets to that. So again, we have a nice little script here. One, two, three, four, five lines of code. And now you have a quick way to search through packages. Uh, not that it was hard to do it with just aptitude search, but now it's, you know, you're able to filter through the list a little bit quicker and easier. So now instead of running aptitude search query, find the package name, aptitude search install or aptitude install package name, you just run your, once you put this inside your system path, your app search, search for your package, filter the list, select multiples if you want, and it's installed. I'll put a link to this script in the description of this video. I hope you check it out and I hope you find it useful. Please visit my website. Again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. Uh, and there you can also find links to my Patreon page, my Libre account, and my PayPal account. If you could support me somehow financially, that would be amazing. And I'll stop singing if you do that for me. <laughs> and um, if not, I do thank you just for watching. Sharing this video with other people you think might like it would be awesome as well. Giving it a like and a comment would also be appreciated. But if anything, I just hope that you have a great day.